Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today is March 15th, 2020. And this is the third live stream we're doing three days in a row. Uh, a couple of days ago, we did uh, current events uh, discussion. Spider Man, hello, hello, good morning. Uh, last night, we did uh, a full on live stream on uh, COVID 19, catching up with the data and talking about it. And today, investing in personal finance. Okay, and we've done a fair bit of these. James Sut David Sutton, how are you doing? Doing good on a Sunday morning, All right? It's still windy, stormy here, but sunny, right? Which is fantastic. I think after the live stream, I'm gonna go for a walk. If uh, it's cold too, so I gotta dress up all nice and warm. Um, uh, aside from that, we've done a fair bit of these, um, talking about investing personal finance and whatnot. And for those of you uh, that are watching this on another platform, uh, we're live streaming this on Twitch. Uh, you're welcome to come and join us on Twitch to catch these live streams. If not, uh, you can definitely, uh, uh, I will definitely load these on, on BitChute and YouTube and whatever other platform we end up uh, sharing these videos on. And we do these on a regular basis. And there's a lot going on again regarding personal finance and investing and whatnot. Uh, a lot of market uh, chaos to a certain degree. Um, and aside from that, we're just going to wait a few minutes until people pop in. Gina Toscala, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome to our Sunday morning live stream. Fun, fun stuff. I'm not sure how fast the notifications are going out. I know YouTube is now sending out notifications for some of the videos that we're loading up. Um, their filters are kicking in because you can, uh, when you load up videos on um, YouTube, you can track them in real time, the views, right? And when they do send out notifications, you see people coming in from the notifications. But then there's times where, you know, on videos, you don't see any uh, section for notifications being sent out. So there is filters and uh, stuff kicking in, right? Which is why we're really focusing on decentralization. Decentralization is the name of the game, right? Um, aside from that, investing in personal finance, uh, Randall, how are you doing? Richard, Richard, how are you? How's it going, Gijo? Doing good, brother. Sunday, I'm enjoying tea. Just straight up black tea. Got my pastries going still. <laughs> when I get these uh mum pastries i eat these on a daily basis and i got some chocolate here this is um this is chocolate ends from a local chocolate producer all right they make you know power bars or whatever you call them and chocolate and different things and you can go there as long as you have some factory some kind of local company that's producing chocolate or anything else ice cream we have an ice cream place that does this too these guys are the ends of the bars that they're making right so what they do is cut off the ends and they put them in a big bag and they sell the bags so it's the bars that they're selling but these ends are a lot cheaper right so you could, we get a bag like this of these end things for like nine dollars canadian which is phenomenal right so we've been just found this place locally uh so we grabbed a couple of ba bags just to try it out and it's phenomenal so it's going to be a go-to place for us right and they're protein chocolate protein bars right but local uh organic ingredients local ingredients local store uh, sourcing out local products so this is one thing we've talked about about sustainability uh personal finance economics and stuff like this really important to support local infrastructure right luca how are you doing hey chicho hope you're doing well currently writing my econ economics dissertation nice what was it focused on you mentioned to us uh, before uh, that you wrote it 
Anna, good morning, Chicho. I started investing in the stock market. I hope you bought puts. Uh, I find myself buying too much and hold, holding. How do you? How do I slow down? I want to find a happy balance where I can buy stocks and save my paycheck. Hannah, first order of business. Okay, and this goes for anyone that is addicted to anything, right? The market will always be there. Never be afraid to step out of the market, right? Never be afraid to take profits, take your hit with losses, right? Step out reanalyze the market will always be there you can step back in again right barring any tax implications and stuff you might have right because if you're if you've made profits if you sell them then you got to realize those gains um capital gains right so you have to pay tax on those but then you can balance that out by writing it off against losses you might have had in other stocks right so keep that in mind never be afraid to step out of the market the other way you can do it is if you've if your stock has gone up right and you think it's going to do a correction and come back down again what you can do is write puts right but never do naked short selling right unless you have like hundreds of millions or billions of dollars on the side right if you have if your stock has gone up what you can do is you can short the equivalent of your shares right and if the stock goes down then you made the profit there you covered your shorts if you think the stock is going to go up and then ride it up again and your capital gains there will be less than selling your stocks all straight out if you bought at a much lower price right it, you have to play with it right but it sounds like you have that same issue that a lot of people have when they get into the markets this is it, the markets is gambling by the by the way they call it investing because they're taking your money and gambling with your money if you're doing it personally it's gambling just the same way it's it's educated gamble by the way it's not just throwing darts at a board right it's educated gamble educated guess sometimes people do straight out throwing darts at a board right right so keep that in mind uh don't get addicted to trading if you get addicted to trading the problem is like you said people like hoarding they like oh i have the stock i have the stock i have the stock why do you have that stock why are you holding it for that long right case man how are you doing brother lonely piggy chicho how's it going brother doing good on a sunday morning martin how's life on a sunday no sunday evening for you you don't work on sunday evening do you is the bar open sunday evening? yeah it must be open actually your clientele must be going down hardcore no Luca, I'm doing a study on the housing market. Oof, integrating differential accumulation, and it's uh, been really fruitful. Awesome, Luca. You're you're taking housing market and putting in uh, Jonathan Nitsas differential accumulation, eh? Nice, nice. It, did we read your? You sent? Did you send me a link that I read it? I can't remember now. Hello, all my brothers and sisters. What's up? Hey, buddy dr hate is crypto uh a go going is crypto a going idea considering the situation now and very near future um a good idea is crypto a good idea considering the situation now and very near future right now we've talked about this cash is king all right so cash is important you can hold cryptos if you want right but cryptos are going to be put under pressure right until right cryptos are going to go under pressure until uh government centralized governments say hannah thank you very much for the bits until the centralized governments um start banning cash right when centralized governments start banning cash right and they might there's a possibility of that then you're going to see a rise up more influx of cryptos because that's the only way people will be able to trade uh with anonymity right now centralized institutions are introducing um they're not cryptocurrencies they're digital currencies right now don't be fooled there's going to be centralized institutions trying to in uh sell people uh digital currencies 
branded as cryptocurrencies there will be some foolish people that are going to buy these digital currencies it's like coupons really so don't be fooled into those things okay legit crypto is decentralized anonymous and not going through facebook or microsoft or apple or whatever it is if you're buying into any of that crap you're 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 being duped right Hannah, look into dollar cost averaging. Yeah, the problem with dollar cost averaging regarding buying buying stocks is you might dollar cost average yourself into zero, right? A good way of controlling yourself by spreading out your stock or fund purchases, buying at regular intervals and in roughly equal amounts. Uh, Luca, to a certain degree, yes and no. Depending on the stock, depending on the market, depending on what the what the general market is doing right like people continue to hold through bubbles i don't i don't recommend that because if something is in a bubble let's say it drops 25 percent 50 percent you could have cashed out and then bought it at 25 percent less or 50 percent the kicker is where when does that bubble occur right are you going to try to sell right at the peak or are you selling on the way up right these are things you have to look at one recommendation i have is if you're looking at a stock right if it goes exponential watch it for a couple of days and then look at it on a semi log graph and if it's going exponential on a semi log graph liquidate 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 right no i'm off today cv is good for business cv is good for business <laughs> i put a link on the um, link on the discord a while ago you had already read it but it was uh for folk that hadn't heard of uh differential okay cool cool yeah I, I, as soon as you said i went wait a second i read this thing and it was really good starsky how are you doing hello chicho glad to make the stream glad to have your brother cryptos replace cash if they get rid of cash 100 percent agree uh digital currencies government digital currencies will replace cash if we allow them to do it we have to make sure we do not forego our anonymity our freedoms and allow governments to introduce only digital currency into our societies as as soon as we go full digital uh you're a slave period done over right and if my country canada starts saying we're going to go for full digital i'm going to take whatever i got and distribute that within cryptos okay you need to have anonymity okay if they get rid of cash i will start using crypto a lot more 100 Hannah, i'm with you on that one all in into uh stem cell research and whatever stocks they have possibly what do you think of Peter Schiff? Peter Schiff's okay. Fear monger to a certain degree. He's stuck in a he's stuck in a loop, right? I agree with him. The the uh, our economic system is not sound, not not by a long shot. It's totally flawed, right? But he's being an idealist. He's not being a realist as to how corrupt the system is. He's saying, okay, they're printing off the yin yang. Gold should go up. Uh, our current economic system is completely flawed. It's, it's, it's a sham. Their corruption and all this jazz. So he's saying, okay, we have to be in gold, right? But that's not the way it works, right? there are other metrics in play an idealist and a realist the two different things between an idealist and a realist is this a realist takes into consideration the other variables in the game an idealist is stuck in a bubble pushing their agenda right just saying this is it this is they could be 100 percent correct on why they are doing what it is that they're doing but the outcome may be 100 percent wrong right because they're not taking into consideration all the other variables okay i listen i listen to peter schiff interviews every now and then i i started looking into peter schiff 15 years ago like a long time ago right i invest in the medical cannabis industry and bit me in the butt yeah and i told you not to do it <laughs> learn my lesson for sure but hopefully there will be a better stock in that sector soon that are way more uh, sustainable aurora was a big scam that i felt yeah hannah it was too early that being said 
<laughs> no spiky no cutting the beer uh that being said cannabis industry is a legitimate sector to be invested in 100 percent. i'm actually keeping track of a couple of uh two or three different companies right i'm waiting until i mentioned this before they go down to like 95 percent uh, from their peak and some of them are down 95 percent from their peak right now what you have to do is look at their finances right when you're looking at these companies it's a it's disruptive innovation kicking in new industries kicking in right so there's two main things you have to look at what are they what's their revenue coming in and what's their burn rate right how much money are they generating and how much money are they spending just like any human being right if you're bringing bringing in a hundred thousand dollars and you're spending two hundred thousand dollars you're screwed if you're bringing in a hundred thousand dollars and spending fifty thousand dollars you're sitting pretty that's the exact same way you have to look at these companies in addition to that you have to look at their growth right if they're bringing in some of the companies i looked at they're bringing in let's say i don't know one of them like more than 10 million let's say let's say 10 million for an a number right let's say they bring in 10 million their cost of doing business to bring in 10 million is 40 million they're not sitting very nice however you look at their growth rate if they're growing at 300 percent per quarter right that means next quarter they're not going to bring in 10 million they're going to bring in 30 million right now at the same time you have to look at the cost of their business if they're costs are also increasing 300 percent. they're still sitting they're sitting actually in a worse position if their cost of doing business stays stable and they're growing at 300 percent, that's not a bad company even 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 if they're in the negative right now right so you have to look at the burn rate okay i can't share the data yet due to a contractual uh, proprietary data sharing case man says but i can tell you we're keeping a close eye on the music industry as a whole expect to see stories monday tuesday in billboard and rolling stone on the changing landscape of the music industry oh case man sweet okay everyone everyone got a note uh keep an eye out for it we're talking three days within the next two three days right so i'm going to read case man's comment again i can't share the data yet due to contractual proprietary data sharing but i can tell you we're keeping a close eye on the music industry as a whole expect to see stories monday tuesday in billboard and rolling stone on the changing landscape of the music industry awesome awesome now i'm all excited I had to unfortunately stop working at the theater cause of COVID. Yeah, now I will be selling extra product uh, we have in the house for our from our business to make some extra money. Awesome, Spider-Man. Yeah, and Spider-Man, keep this in mind, right? This is right now an amazing time to look at disruptive innovation, new industries, new systems popping up to compensate for the gaps in the current economic system that we have the legacy systems coming up right in terms of term in times of turmoil it's an amazing time to diversify and pick up new hobbies new um new passions right where you can start investing time and energy into understanding a certain system that is being rolled out within our societies and if that's a viable place that you can generate money build a business build your network then start putting a little bit of time into it okay keep that in mind look around okay also in regard to student loans will it pop i'm at seventy thousand k working a very minimum wage job with an economic degree how sad oh brother or sister uh, will it pop depends what you mean by pop depends what you mean by pop maybe interesting for some of you in my housing study i looked at so this is luca in my housing study i looked at how housing um, differentially accumulated against government debt so what is the difference between the yield in housing and the yield in bonds another safe safe asset safe asset not 
right uh, in the long run this means reverts to zero i.e housing price growth net of depreciation is roughly equal to interest on government debt yeah and uh, luca um i know you posted the link to your um thesis uh thesis in previously but if because there might be some people here interested in reading it if you could post it on our discord page again under economics that way people can have a read through it i'm not sure if uh you might have sent a link to me directly i'm not sure if you posted it on discord or not i know it's not the right uh, decision uh, discussion theme but man what is happening dude it's getting scary out there and i'm kind of getting the creeps on this on the shit man what do you think is uh, gonna happen captain soju in what regards happen where uh, that's a really broad question right uh, let me know uh, and we can address it uh, utah went from 9 to 19 cases in less than 24 hours and utah mormon are panicking because they think this is the prophet on the end of the world like the book of mormon says <laughs> Oh, funny well they, they they've been hoping for this right so they shouldn't be panicking they should be celebrating they should be go dancing and gathering in big crowd big groups and hugging each other maybe i don't know uh but it's not the end times it's not the end times early expectations are that the physical sales will go down more digital sales will level out they have been uh, tending toward downwards for years and streaming will go up greatly yeah case man and one of the reasons i'm here right now right i you could see the streaming the live streaming and content creation right going in this direction because people are sick and tired of non uh interactive consumption of entertainment information and all this jazz people want real connections right that's one thing that's been missing because we saw the rollout uh, of all these platforms play out for the last 15 years with youtube and stuff like this right uh streaming services and whatnot right video uploads but i think people are going more towards live in a big way in a big way which is one of the things catalyst that kicked me into twitch as well when i'm very grateful for being here right if differential house price growth hits ultra high levels you can be sure of a bubble yeah luca and we're seeing the bubble pop right now in vancouver okay in canada specifically the u.s feels barbaric compared to canada in terms of how much our government allows private companies to abuse us um h1 h1 i'm, I'm gonna uh, uh, refer to as h1 uh, or b22 um, canada is very monopolistic as well the corporations here have a tremendous amount of power tremendous amount of power they get away with literally murder right so we just don't uh, canadians are just a little bit less passive on that regard in terms of calling out the corporations but we are there calling out the corporations but not as much as the united states the united states for sure is running amok the corporations but uh canada is right there with you right james david sutton chicho what do you think the best advice is for COVID 19 and how big do you think it will affect the economy around the world it's going to affect the big uh, the best advice right now is social uh distancing okay right now the best thing everybody can do is don't go to large gatherings don't get together for potlucks you know keep your distance because right now the testing has been rolling out in the in canada the united states anyway i'm assuming uh, and europe as well right but right now people are now becoming aware of it i don't know where they were we were talking about this two months ago right but because of mainstream media mainstream propaganda they're they're banned they're they're crazy it's garbage what what they're sharing right and how behind the times they are right but social distancing is the best thing you can do right now because if people do have COVID 19 they may not be showing symptoms but they are still contagious right so if you go to a gathering let's say 15 people right and one person 
is contagious and they infect two people. Those two people have relatives and other gatherings they go to and all of a sudden just goes, right? So social distancing is the best way to, uh, here, I, I still have this, this pick, best way to flatten the curve. What you want to do is make sure the, the medical system is not overwhelmed with a spike, right? So don't let the medical system overwhelm itself with major lots of cases going in because it won't be able to handle the critically uh, critical patients that really need the care, right? And the data we looked at, uh, uh, I think it was Caseman that posted a link to the new study that came out where they looked at the numbers and in Korea anyway, uh, the people that they were testing, it wasn't the elderly that were the most infected. It was the ages between 20 and 29 that were the most infected. And that is problematic because the younger you are, the more active you are, the more social settings you have, the, the, more, the more contact you have with people, right? And if that's the case, then the, the R not value for a country where it's the youth that have the highest infection is going to be more, right? Than if it's more the elderly that have the infection, right? Let me take this down. Boop. I kept that up from yesterday, right? Toilet paper. Oh, wow. I'm going to scroll down, gang. Uh, there's a lot of chat that I missed. Uh, mods, thank you for taking care of business. I didn't realize there was some um, troll action going on. Martin, thank you. Spider-Man, thank you very much. Hey, Chicho. Um, finally catching a live stream after years of watching you on the reruns on YouTube. All it took was a global pandemic and some self-isolation. <laughs> God, Kozu, yeah. Why not? Why not? There's lots of amazing stuff online, right? Well, I mean, you've seen all all of the concert cancellations in the U.S. Yeah, record store uh, day has been postponed, was postponed to be uh, in about a month. Okay, cool. Yeah, and that's regarding the music industry. I, Hannah, I can't tell you which cannabis companies I'm looking at right now uh, just because I don't want people to buy into anything, right? Really, I don't because... People will, you drop names, people buy it. And then they come back to you because I've done this before, right? And then they come back to you and say, oh, I bought that thing because you recommended it. I go, I didn't recommend it. I mentioned there's a difference between recommending buying something and mentioning something. And even if I recommend something, right, I might be in and out of a stock in the past anyway. I, I'm not playing the market, right? I could be in and out of a stock within a week, within a few days. Now, are people going to, expect me to tell them when I'm buying something and when I'm selling something. If I buy in something, it goes up threefold in a matter of two or three days. I'm selling, right? I'm taking 200% profit off the table, right? Who, who knows why it went up? If you're tracking it, there might be a reason, but, but people can't react as fast as I do for my personal takes. But there's, there's a limited number of uh, things out there, right? Okay, guys, I'm going to go down. Uh, I'm going down to the bottom, okay, of chat. If there's anything that was directed towards me, uh, let me know because I, I want to make sure I'm catching any uh, troll action coming in as well, right? Nintendo is going to sell many copies of Animal Crossing because of COVID. Yeah, gaming industries are going to do well, right? I bought everything you mentioned, Chicho. I am bankrupt now. <laughs> with me being uh, well if you bought tesla you would have done phenomenal phenomenal and if i mentioned in the last year multiple times during these live streams that i would have been 100 percent puts if i was in the market so if you were 100 puts in the market you would have gotten your returns a huge right if you were 100 puts 100% puts in the markets for the last, you would have to, I, I mentioned that it was going to be incremental puts, right? It would have been a month out, three months out, and six months out. I've been rolling that through, right? As they expired, I would have gone six months out, six months out, right? If you did that, let's say you had 10 grand in play 
if you had 10 grand in play based on what happened with the markets in the last two weeks that 10 grand would have turned into 300,000 or something right do I recommend doing that hell no because if if it goes the other way you lose your 10 grand within a day all right it's a gamble as far as I'm concerned Wall Street is a casino uh, treated as like right with me being type 1 di diabetic I'm worried um, self-isolating just so I don't catch it uh, James David Sun great idea right but really why do we have to go out and interact with everyone during a pandemic like people really don't realize they're like saying oh my freedom's going away I still want to go to social activities this is a pandemic <laughs> this isn't <laughs> Joe you know every day thing someone telling you oh you shouldn't socialize as much as you should this is a pandemic right self isolate read a book or two or three or four play video games watch chicho streams create content share it online read articles right play board games and learn math can you recommend cider today <laughs> i'm nine days so martin nine days awesome no don't do it any beginner books you'd recommend for learning economics i was a slacker in high school and now that i've graduated i'm getting interested in my own haha <laughs> um fina first thing i would recommend is do you know math let me know let me know if you're literate in the language of mathematics do you know what exponential growth is do you know how to calculate percentages do you know uh how to read graphs how to read charts if not the first order of business is brush up on your basic mathematics because reading economics without knowing mathematics is useless the main thing you're working towards you have to have an appreciation for ratios because economics is just ratios which is basically fractions so what you're working towards is to have a good understanding of what a ratio is telling you right here for example i got four pastries here and one two three four five six six chocolate bars what's the ratio of pastries to chocolate bars what is that ratio okay if you need to think about it you need to learn math if you know what it is good if you can reduce the fraction fantastic if you know what it means where i say okay this is the ratio then how many how many pastries do i still have left if i have 35 chocolates in uh in my bag right and if you can do that calculation then you can start looking at some of the economic uh books and stuff like this must scam uh can't go on forever it is legitimate tesla is a legitimate company right is the price of 500 what is it sitting around 600 bucks now is is that legit mm. chicho are you eating any pastries i am i am should we pop one i'll pop one let's pop a pastry mom's pastries and chicho's jam that we made during the live streams right Tesla is called now that I agree with I've worked in entertainment for about a decade now and everyone has always thought that we are we are recession proof but if musicians can't perform live a huge chunk of the income for the music industry is going to disappear overnight is everybody shorting uh, Ticketmaster all right that is going to have a lot of downstream effects take away for for you guys is to buy music yeah and Ticketmaster I don't know what the stock has done for Ticketmaster I haven't been tracking it right what a monopolistic disgusting company that is I can be very worrying also in affects uh, your work by the way gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs uh, if there's been any subs and stuff like this okay and thank you for the 
interaction and uh, and the conversation netflix yada how are you doing controls and netflix netflix uh, right now is going to do okay because of covid 19 will people streaming however streaming services there's streaming wars going on right now netflix was the king and king in the house right for 10 years 10 years 10 years i guess i don't know i can't remember now uh for a while now right however there's a lot of streaming services kicking in right for the charlatan he is math has never been my strong suit but i'm determined to learn uh fina that's what you have to do first you got to learn the mathematics chicho did you already say what you should look into investing currently um did i say what to um, uh, everybody's investment I'm, I'm not here to give investment advice i'm here to have a platform where we can talk about different things and some of the things you have to consider right i can't give investment advice martin <laughs> three to two. <laughs> oh wait a second martin you're wrong it's not three to two i said i said pastries to chocolate so it was two to three not three to two right and now it's no longer four to three or four to six which is two to three right <laughs> right now it's one to two gina gina got it yeah four to six awesome i missed the gina's comment first gina wins what was the reduced format did anyone do the reduction 1.5 to one. <laughs> oh no martin you're still wrong it's two to three obviously that's easy yada nice i scroll down by the way i scroll down by the way so i'm down to the bottom gang again taco how are you doing today i went to an interview to a, a sharma shop and i'm lifting lifting ways to beef up nice if netflix is kicking disney's ass i am happy yeah i agree with you naju uh and uh, naju uh anuj right see martin approximately the, the, i feel like so many people are going to jump on twitch and live streaming now maybe they might be just consuming live streaming which is fantastic right buy high sell low trust me i'm a professional <laughs> spectral shot when the eu in uh incites the ban on diesel and petrol engines we will see volkswagen and bmw group uh group start making elect electric cars in full swing tesla will not be able to uh, keep up with their production that's my thought because none of the manufacturers are all in with electric they are not just gonna dump all the metal engines now to get and uh, go electric uh, blackout alan uh, people are already producing a lot of electric there's already competition out there tesla is just the the high brand right the the name recognition right yeah was bored of i randomly found this yada you randomly found us welcome do business school pave the ways for glo a good investing no uh yes sir. Uh, some business schools are paved the way for uh corruption huge okay for propagating this ridiculous economic systems that we're in there's a lot of people graduating from business school that are clueless as to the origins of money uh what liquidity means they're they're just little peons that they parrot whatever is fed to them right it's part of the same model as our current education system sorry been decades since i did ratios and that's the reason martin right People don't do ratios and ratios are the most important thing you got to come out of high school with right you have to understand ratios most people don't understand ratios so and investing is just ratios economics is just ratios it's just the metrics right the units that matter what's on your portfolio cool gopal what's on my portfolio uh that's directed to me uh, wall street zero i got nothing in wall street and i don't plan on getting in anything into wall street on my portfolio right now i have a gigantic comic book collection 
okay on my portfolio right now i have 850 approximately 850 videos on youtube on my portfolio right now i've been on online creating content for 15 years okay so i've built up a fair bit of trust within the system because i called the 2008 collapse um you know a few different things i've been pretty bang on regarding things i've been wrong in a couple of cases too right so i've written articles i have a fairly good readership i have a very very phenomenal viewership right i have amazing amazing network of friends i have amazing family i got a safety net i'm pretty healthy right i am informed as to the ways of the world and how it works i can prep myself for what is coming so we're a little bit of ahead of the curve the masses jumping on to freaking out right like we talked about COVID 19 two months ago people are panicking now going and buying toilet paper to eat right we talked about getting your supplies already right so what's in my portfolio intelligence life that's my portfolio right can you explain what peter Schiff's goal uh, and what his obsession is with gold also what is a semi graph versus a regular graph semi log graph is on the y-axis things go up by uh, multiples of 10 right so for example if you draw a graph right this is your time usually right so that goes regular semi log graph it goes from let's say zero one actually it's not even zero one ten a hundred thousand ten thousand right so it's going up by factor of 10 every tick right now it's not linear it's sort of each tick goes on my factor of 10 you have to sort of do it but the main main ticks right uh go up by factor of 10. if a stock is going exponential on a factor semi log graph sell okay and by the way this is not financial advice if it keeps on going don't come to me and say chicho said sell like really I think this is my favorite stream I've been in, and I'm not just saying that. Glad I joined. Awesome, 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 Fina. Glad to have you. On bought Facebook shares back. You bought Facebook shares back in 2004. Was there? Wait a second. There was no Facebook shares in 2004. <laughs> was there? No, there wasn't. I don't think so. Maybe there was. I can't remember. Google hit in 2003, I believe. I meant more people are going to be uh, producing online streaming content like more Twitch streams, DJ online streams. I hope so, Sleepy Waves. Tesla is 10 years ahead, BMW and Audi. Yeah, in terms of technology, agreed. But they're going to catch up, not with it. It's not going to take them 10 years to catch up. It'll take them three, four years to catch up. Tesla is light years ahead of the competition. But we're talking technology. Once people start acquiring technology, it goes huge right tesla's battery company making cars tesla that's the best best comment blackout to alan tesla is a i would say more than a battery company tesla is a producer of energy right is is a company that is not producer of energy but it's a company that is making energy uh mobile energy available right they are they have different branches other than cars right they are producing gigantic power um, batteries for homes and stuff like this and whatnot so it is largely a battery it's like ballard energy but ballard didn't go into making cars which they should have right gadgets to for people to buy but they put all their baskets in battery thinking they would have sold the batteries that's why mercedes bought them out in 2000 or so right more like compute a computer with a car strapped to it but my mini clip investment was the most profit in my share portfolio <laughs> okay i'm gonna scroll down a little bit uh anything kind of off topic chicho spider-man says since you've been on ebay user since 2002 have they given you any incentives or cool things since you've been a member for so long no spider-man no and a lot of life experience that's that's my portfolio 
really. And I have a degree in geophysics. I know mathematics, which is huge. If you have, if you know mathematics, your portfolio is more powerful than most people out there. Learn math. That is an incredibly uh, powerful thing to have in your portfolio. Chicho is V for Vendetta. Uh, that's his portfolio. <laughs> nice. Uh, look. Chicho, help me understand. So if the market continues to go down, does this mean the value of the dollar go? No. Uh, does this mean that my savings uh, savings worth are going down? Depends what your, uh, what your savings are in. Should I look to invest and park my money in some thing right now? Possibly sleepy waves. That's those are really open questions. I, I don't know your finances. I don't know your budget. I don't know where you live. Uh, I don't think I know where you live. Uh, I don't know what your revenue coming in is. I don't know what your burn rate is. I, I don't know how old you are. I don't know how many dependents you have. There's a lot of play, right? No, they are Nokia because they are first right now. Ch -ch -ch. Also helping our children with also helping our children with math. One of the most fundamental things every person in the world should learn and know. And breaking the formulas, screw our centralized education system 100 percent And you have to know how to move around an equal sign. Ridiculously important. Ridiculously important. Okay. Move learn how to move around an equal sign. Didn't Peter Schiff predict 2008 crash? Peter Schiff, um, Peter Schiff. Uh, sure, he was talking about a crash, but he's been saying the crash. He didn't. Uh, yes, but you have to also consider what has occurred since then, right? And I agree with Peter Schiff. The whole system is a scam, right? The whole system is a total scam. The housing bubble, right? The Fed and all this jazz. Uh, but you can't be just be sitting in gold. Uh, helps and foremost every single day. He does all of this for me. Chicho 2020. No, other companies haven't invested all into their electric stuff, though. No, they haven't. Math can't always predict human decisions. A A A K corporate decisions, though. Uh, right, sir. Right, agreed. That's why you can't just know math. It's the like I can honestly say, if you know mathematics, it's the most powerful tool in your arsenal. Period. Okay experience same level right a nice safety net in regards to community is on the same level so but mathematics if you know mathematics if you're playing markets and stuff like this if you don't know mathematics you're playing with a major handicap major handicap you're going by feeling and if you're going by feeling it's gonna you know be accurate one out of 20 times is that going to be enough to compensate for the 19 out of 20 times you're going to be losing right been watching a lot of number file videos on youtube and i feel like i'm really starting to learn uh, learn again feel good awesome awesome finna number file does incredible work i agree i agree sorry it uh was uh myspace in 2000 yeah facebook was 2013 okay yeah and facebook came out uh we got a raid david david bobcock welcome with your raid thank you very much for raiding our stream you need to follow every uh, decision the company is making to predict markets yeah and in regards to anuj um what anuj said one thing you can do if you're thinking about investing in a company or some kind of sector start listening to their live streams when they do quarterly and yearly reports okay when they do reports they sit there and they go through their numbers right and they answer questions from investors that gives you an amazing idea uh, as to what's going on mcgregor a bad person sent us okay i'm gonna allow that because you came with the raid right uh, thanks for the raid welcome everyone spider-man says but can uh, heavy focus on math ruin your initiation or organic genuine feeling about good stock uh, yes it can be 22 however the good feeling like I said 
if you're really good at it, you can have, you, you can kick up your ratio of good to bad, right? And if you know a sector well, however, if you know your mathematics, and if you understand what the concept of liquidity means in the markets, then, and a few other concepts you need to understand about different markets that you're in, then that's going to give you your your bet your correct or wrong is going to be better your ratio is going to kick up your returns might not be as much right the percent return because the good feelings are usually the ones that give you huge returns right but over the long period it's differential accumulation if you're beating the averages by a few percent then in the limit you win right but never be afraid to place bets on long shots never be afraid to place bets on long shots really because a long shot bet can give you 10 100 times more returns in one bet than multiple longer term bets right welcome raiders this is a fun stream highly recommend you follow chicho thanks anna hey yeah hi david david bobcock the david bobcock we might need uh, by the way how come uh, you're rating our channel did you find us somewhere we might need slow mode uh soon with comments make it easier slow mode i don't know i don't think i've used slow mode oh, God, since that's bad cock. the question is how do we know it's a decision that it it will be executed on da, 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 da. b22 i'm not sure what you're referring to let me know and i'll address it don't ruin the vibe please raiders this is lovely all right i'm gonna head out take care take care yada thanks for popping in i agree uh do you do live uh paranormal streams paranormal is that what you do uh david bobcock I mainly talk about my annoying view of viewers these days. <laughs> That's funny. Love it, love it. Okay. Thanks for joining, friend. Thank you for joining. He's a little grumpy. I apologize. That's okay. You popped up in a suggested stream. Okay, cool. Interesting. Welcome. Welcome. I hope you enjoy your stay and your viewers as well, by the way. Any cooking streams coming up? You know what, Hannah? I've been meaning to do a pandemic cooking stream. And I think we're going to do one next week. Okay. We'll do <laughs> simple foods that you can make with ingredients that can, you can have, you can store for a while. Onions, tomatoes, rice, beans, right? Pandemic cookies? Maybe. Pandemic cookies as well. <laughs> Not this week. Next stream is Wednesday, March 18th. Yeah. And we're going to do the math puzzle on Wednesday. Thanks, Spider-Man. Also, how long will this virus last? It's going to be a few months. It's going to go, it's, 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 got to, it's got to work its way through the Western and the rest of the world, right? It's going to last a few months. We'd be lucky to see a downturn come um, in mid-spring, beginning of summer. Okay. The earlier person said, follow company companies decisions okay how do we know those decisions will be executed on yeah uh their history b22 you have to look at the management the management is important if they say they're going to be doing this and they have a track record of doing what they said they were going to do you don't you know you can trust them to a certain degree right toilet paper has zero nutritional value people stop hoarding it agreed chicho has covid covid19 affected your work uh if you don't mind me asking uh to a certain degree i think uh yeah james davis son i had one person that i see in person in my city that requested we do uh we do skype today and i'm gonna do, be doing skype with them right which is legit and i'm 100 okay with it right um has it affected my work i was going to load more comic books uh on ebay during spring break the odds are i'm going to hold off on that right because i don't want to overload the system maybe i'll hold off on it. i'm not so sure yet we'll see how it plays out and i don't want uh people to get packages that maybe 
they're traveling through multiple hands and I don't want to put people at risk, right? So I'm going to hold off on that most likely. Um, it depends. It depends. I'm, I'm keeping track of the numbers, see how it plays out, right? Aside from that, um, I don't know. To a certain degree, for sure, everyone's going to be affected. Everyone's going to be affected. Uh, like I'm pretty sure my uh, donations are going to reduce, right? I'm pretty sure people that might be thinking about joining Patreon, if they don't have the funds, they won't be joining Patreon. I'm pretty sure if people are going to be uh, s um, subbing here with Tier 1, may hold off if they're tight on cash. So it's going to have a effect. Delicious, Jijo. Will you ever do a cannabis cooking stream? Yes. I just have to make sure... Uh, Twitch doesn't ban us for doing doing it, right? So I can't do it unless the platform doesn't red flag us, right? Uh, and if it, you know, they don't they don't approve it at some point, we'll go on another platform and do cannabis only streams on that one. I guess I don't know. I love this idea. I'll be. Uh, tuning in for that for sure awesome American Americans it's high time you use water instead of paper uh, bidet bidet bidets right I love the idea of cooking a pandemic stream nice sleepy waves a COVID Sue vibe cooking stream yep next week I think after we do the math one on the next streams that I announce if you guys can remind me to make sure we've set one up we'll set one up can math be used to validate if decision will be executed on or is that a good uh, good feeling thing yeah for sure just look at how many just look at the ratio of how many things the management has said that they were going to do and if they have done it right that's like politicians there's websites that come up that politicians promise all these things right and there's websites that track their promises how many how many things are their platform they have uh, implemented right if you see politicians that don't implement their platforms then you know they're lying right and some of the major ones right same thing with companies so i see no way out but to get good at math damn it yeah yeah the trip a ripple effect will take another couple of weeks we'll take uh, yeah two to four weeks uh, about six weeks we're going to see this first huge wave work itself out through the population right and the people freaking out and becoming normalized so people don't panic anymore right wish i could afford to send more no spider-man no worries brother no worries no you take care of your business and you're here taking care of business here and uh, th there's other ways to support creators than fiat currency there's other ways i don't expect people uh, to send funds if they can't afford it or they're putting their own finances at risk no I, I i don't expect that right like i said before you provide so much free content that a lot of teachers would charge for i definitely appreciate it. my pleasure spider-man and for me it's because i want our societies to improve right i'm investing in our communities like people say what do you invest in well i'm investing in creating content i'm sharing information teaching mathematics this has a multiple and other things as well right but this has a sort of a ripple effect where it's building content for myself so i can generate some revenue and put my math con curriculum together is helping people that don't have access to good teachers to learn mathematics right is helping teachers i've had i have no idea how many teachers i've had over the last few years contact me saying asking someone asking for asking my permission to show my videos in their classroom or if i could use if they could use some of the content i created i said 100 100 right so this is sort of investing in community as well but it's not just my local community it's international community right so it's multi multi-faceted uh, these people on here uh growing cannabis you should be fine um you know what i don't want to put the math content at risk right now uh lump really because we haven't seen the anvil come down yet a youtube anvil came down right 
whenever any company makes any decisions like acquiring a company check their market share increasing or decreasing yeah all right well i'm going to head out chicho okay fina uh, i'm going to go brush up on my math and be as best as i can glad i found the stream i'll be back awesome and welcome back oh our pleasure man thank you for being here is america going back to gold-based currency no anuj not at all not at all there might be countries that might go gold-based currency russia has been buying gold up the yin yang they had zero debt right libya thought about it creating an african currency we know what happened there right african gold-backed currency the clintons and the obamas came in and the and the uk and france they came in and bombed the crap out of it and annihilated that country right one of the reasons they did that was because libya was trying to create an african currency that was gold backed right where is libya's gold where is libya's gold my guess is it's in the private banks in the uk france and the united states they looted the country right having your friend day how, how are you so calm have you always been so peaceful uh me <laughs> no <laughs> india is buying gold yeah india is in trouble economically india is in big big trouble didn't know you taught math where can i find videos on twitch uh i do we do live streams on twitch mass drop and live streams but my youtube channel uh thank you spider-man if you go to the youtube channel i have playlists i also load them on bitshoot as well but bitshoot i've only been on there for like i guess two and two years two and a half years now since they came on uh youtube i've been on for 12 years so there's playlists on youtube there's asmr math playlist language of mathematics playlist math and real life playlist uh mathematics of food and farming playlist uh mathematics of art and design playlist personal finance playlist that all have math content i have at least out of 850 videos at least 400 are specifically math related they it must be there by now right hillary took the gold just kidding i don't anuj uh the u.s military took a lot of the gold right as well as the one from Af um iraq many of you have videos on both those also visit chicho.com yeah if you go to chicho if you go to in the top i have little buttons if you do mathematics that sort of runs you through gives you an intro to the main three playlists that we have right with all the stuff uh from that on the site as well taking you to the specific videos if the market keeps going down how does it affect the currency of the u.s um the, what's going to affect the currency of the u.s is in large part related to how they deal with COVID 19 right now okay um, that's important and how fast emerging company emerging countries are collapsing right so u.s dollar is getting stronger this COVID 19 hiccup is a hiccup twenty seconds slow oh that's how you do slow twenty uh for this room nice something got to give either the economy survive but culture is now a normalization of millions of deaths every year or culture changes uh then rest in your capsule um you're somta somta can i call you you're, you're i don't know how to pronounce your name brother or sister of course uh, the economy is going to survive the economy is the economy it, it'll just change i personally hope our current economic system does not survive right because our current economic system is 100 percent corrupt to the core right so i hope it changes in a big way so the economy is the economy so it's gonna change i don't think we're gonna see millions of death every year because COVID 19 is going to mutate and most likely maybe become more benign or there'll be vaccines put out and there's going to be more care taken so there's going to be preventative measures put in place so if it becomes a yearly occurrence uh, 
it might not be as dramatic uh, next year as it is this year, right? And people are going to build up an immune system to it to, to a certain degree anyway. Will this situation affect the real estate market? Always be making 100% is going to affect the real estate market. 100%. Hello, Sansei Chicho is fine. Thank you, Dr. Duros 101. Welcome to our stream. Thanks. Found a YouTube video taking calculus. So interested in getting better at math. Awesome. At some point, I'm going to make calculus videos content, but I have to brush up on a lot of the calculus. Okay. Anytime. If you're looking for something specific, chances are Chicho has covered it. Uh, just let me know and I can help you find it. Awesome, Spider Man. Thank you, brother, man. Did you read about the water system in Detroit? Yeah. I, 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 I made articles about it and stuff when it was happening, I believe, anyway, or about the water system in general. And just so you know, I. My background is environmental geophysics, right? And I did 10 years of environmental geophysics work in the 90s. And the water system was pushed to the max back then. Okay. Contamination of our water supply is a huge issue. I studied hydrogeology, hydrogeology as well, right? So water is a huge, huge issue. Okay. Uh, it should be on the forefront of most people's thoughts. For some reason it's not um, we'll see what what happens right let's sure hope change comes soon enough yeah i hope so too i hope so too any any tips for a calm life um cannabis is the answer <laughs> says cannabis could be one of the answers right um uh, for a calm life uh david uh, backhawk i would say inform yourself be ahead of the curve that's one thing that's really really important so one thing you have to do is looking you know just analyze your life what are you interested in right if you're interested in finance politics cooking uh innovation technology or whatever it is immerse yourself in that and read up on it so when the news hits the mainstream you're already aware of it right so you don't start going into either panic mode or really excited mode because you already know that it's out there right like COVID-19 is one example we have we're talking about it but people start panicking now it's like man like a month ago you should have been thinking about this right so be ahead of the curve a little bit that way you're not caught up in the 15 minute sound bites I would recommend making sure you do exercise right some type of exercise Re ridiculously important ridiculously important david okay like it releases like i had a friend who was, who was a f uh, fitness trainer and did bodybuilding and stuff like this right he said chicho exercise keeps you healthy makes you it's it's free you can manage exercise for free make sure that or helps in you not consuming pharmaceuticals right it releases endorphins that give you a rush that you your body needs right it has all these benefits centralized governments should make it illegal right because free keeps you healthy keeps you happy our centralized corporations <laughs> make trillions of dollars off our societies for making sure that our society is not healthy not happy and selling gadgets for people to exercise when the only really thing you need to exercise with is your own body right so the best exercise routine you can have is to manage your own body weight you can go do chin-ups do push-ups do leg raises go for long walks do crunches and stuff like this you could have little weights with you and stuff but you don't need much right aside from that make sure you have an entertainment you enjoy you need to take a break entertainment read read books read long books don't necessarily sit there and consume sound bites of information because sound bites are chaos right read articles extended articles but also read long books so you can follow a train of thought from beginning all the way to the end and that informs you 
right aside from that filter out the garbage from your life right may it be garbage food you're eating garbage things that you're doing any addictions that you have and people that are toxic in your life right everybody has them i i've go through uh, sort of a regular routine every few years where i eliminate toxic things from my life okay or reduce them at least anyway i've had friends that i care for very much but if they're toxic in my life i you know i've had amazing friends and i still consider them brothers and sisters that are no longer in my everyday activity right if they're ever in a jam i will help them out and they will do the same for me but i've told them listen i'm not into getting drunk every day or doing this every day or doing this every weekend right your lifestyle is different than mine if you're ever in a jam get in contact with me otherwise i hope you have a healthy wealthy life right sometimes you need to walk away flint is still having issues absolutely crazy yeah and many other cities flint's not the only one anybody remember obama going up in front of the residents of flint michigan saying oh the water is fine the water is fine bring me a glass of water and someone walks up down the aisle with a glass of water and obama takes a glass of water with smaller than this and goes like this see the water is fine or some crap like this and puts it down did you see the faces of those people the residents of flint michigan looking at obama going you you they were restrained i'm not sure what i would have done if my kids were being polluted right poisoned by lead toxic water and the president of the united states came and told me that the water is fine and did this what would you do what would you do well i mean the government stepped in and just waive uh, the water bill which means they could have always just done that uh, just goes to show how imaginary our economic system is yeah chicho why bill gates cares so much about vaccines what is up with that bill gates is a scam don't listen to what bill gates has to say the guy has his own agenda right bill gates is he's the philanthropist the, the definition of philanthropist like bill gates and stuff they're not philanthropists they're just investing in another company or in their own future right they want more power bill gates is not a good person okay or let, let's rephrase that so we don't get zoomed or zapped or anything like this uh i wouldn't trust bill gates uh to tell me anything uh worthwhile fact that is to my benefit all right question everything that comes out of the bill gates foundation okay okay cool was looking for calc it's all good found uh the math in real life playlist there's plenty to learn from uh from there thanks for the content my pleasure thump thank you my pleasure um david Batcock. I need to watch that Obama video. Oh, it'll make your blood broil or boil, I guess. Maybe not broil, boil. Maybe broil. Who knows? Hey, Chicho. Will the dawn one, two, three. Hello, hello. How are you doing? Hope life is treating you well. All right. Wow, I caught up with the chat. Amazing. I can pop a pop a pastry. Look at this one. nice bill gates is out of touch does not even know the prices of groceries yeah i'm great will says should i get a blood oxygen meter for covid 19 i don't know no days no dates right now i'm out of dates Actually, no, I have a little bit of dates left, so I'm rationing my dates. 
<laughs> I gotta go get more dates. In times like this, ration your food. Really? Oh, awesome, Martin. How did you disable the uh, slow-mo? I have to learn that command. I have been enjoying the Marvel reboot of the Conan series. Nice. Yeah, I've heard amazing things. Aaron, uh, after a quick look at your uh, shelf, uh, can you recommend a more Golden Age comic run? Uh, I wouldn't, uh, Conan didn't come out in Golden Age, but I would recommend Savage Sword of Conan. As far as I'm concerned, these are compilations of Savage Sword of Conan, right? <laughs> look at this. I think I have this one, the original one of this, all right? Savage Sword of Conan. It was a magazine format, and I highly recommend reading Savage Sword of Conan, okay? The reason being, it was when the Savage Sword of Conan was being written, okay? Because it wasn't comic book format, it didn't have to abide by the comic code authority. So censorship didn't kick in as hard right so savage sword of conan the magazines are more mature there's more stuff being shown there's more stuff being talked about there's severed heads being held up on the covers right which was banned in comic book format so i would say if you haven't read it's black and white by the way but amazing john boshima ernie chan um um so many so many artists right um who's the writer on that Jeez, uh one of the main writers is oh man here's another one right um what's his name oh man names 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 uh, roy thomas right roy thomas wrote a lot roy thomas is absolutely amazing right seriously savage sword of conan that's where it's at and uh, I've got this one too. Check this out. This is the Conan Reader. And these are the Conan stories that before Marvel got the rights back to it, they were being printed through Dark Horse Comics, right? Through Dark Horse Comics. And I haven't read this yet, but check out the writers. Kurt uh, Bozick, P. Craig Russell, Timothy Truman, Kelly Jones, and I've heard amazing things about the series. And this was an amazing buy. It's like a thousand pages and it cost, uh, you know, in Canada, $40. So well worth the buy, right? Those are my two Conan recommendations. Okay. Always got to take a sidestep and recommend Conan, right? Uh, it's measure your blood when you're really sick. Barev, Barev, Psycho Pete, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well, Chicho, and chat. Welcome, welcome to our live stream. Do you think there will be a run on uh, cabins in the mountains after this? Um, I doubt it, right? Where are you going to get your food if you go to the cabin, right? Bill Geta Foundation, Bill, Bill Gate Geta Foundation was kicked out, of the, in, kicked out of India some years back. Rumors are he is giving vaccines to poor kids and those vaccines were not FDA approved. Yeah, Bill Gates is just, last time I worked, uh, I worked, my customers didn't even know what the acronym COVID-19 meant. Yeah, there's, I've come across people that are, aren't really aware of what's going on. People should start uh, fasting and lose unnecessary weight and exercise right exercise ration don't go gluttonous right i should look that up thank you i always wondered what effect the comic code had on strips like conan yeah you'll love it you'll love it coronavirus is a myth i doubt it people are dying from g5 g5 definitely is having an effect 100 percent will okay i agree with you Wuhan was the first place to pilot the new technology and now we are catching up uh, you can only get viruses if your body creates it or if you get a vaccine I no, I disagree with that that's for sure it's a multi-government population call now 5g is killing us and they have made uh, up, I, they haven't made up coronavirus but they will give us vaccines okay don't trust the state I agree with you okay but 
you're running into speculations right linkedin work but found it on youtube nice good day everyone good day luca lucas burke viruses are not contagious nor airborne ch -ch -ch -ch. open your eyes <laughs> I went with full alex jones he went full <laughs> I want to study your brains. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. How are you? Love and mercy. Love and mercy. One of Bill Gates' new initiatives is called, yeah, ID2020 in the third world. It includes vaccines and RF, RF, uh, RFID chips. These are a website and it's sponsored by Microsoft. Yeah, Bill Gates is nasty. Bill Gates Foundation is nasty, as nasty as the Clinton Foundation, right? As nasty as all of those foundations. Well, how 5G can kill people? What the <laughs> virus is spreading your saliva. <laughs> They're making no frogs. <laughs> Thank you for the laughs. Thank you for the laughs. Fun times, fun times. <laughs> <laughs> no one is a piece of chocolate. <laughs> but you chose a way. Good on you, man. Thank you, Dapper. I miss Alex Jones. <laughs> Next thing you'll say, bye. <laughs> One of the best remedies to good health is a good laugh. Oh my god, I'm too funny. Oh. <laughs> Actually, he'll say invest in silver because silver is uh, is used for medical supplies as well, right? <laughs> best of Alex Jones stream. <laughs> <laughs> it is time to invest in the Chinese stock market as ours is ruined now. Ah, uh, yeah, no. <clears throat> the blue hurts more people. <laughs> Color, the um, collodial silver. You too can be blue. <laughs> too funny <laughs> drink silver we showed stats like uh last night disproving that that's funny that was a great laugh <laughs> <laughs> have you ever browsed a subreddit called wall street uh, bets no no i stopped reddit i used to I used to go to Reddit to a lot of different, uh, fo uh, what do you call it, subreddits and stuff. Now I only go to, and I go, I don't go there as much as I did before. And I only go to like two, three, four subreddits now. Reddit is totally compromised. Like you get auto banned, silenced, uh, ghosted. Uh, it's, 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 because there are subreddits that you can function on still a little bit because they're low down uh, but it's a propaganda site in large part right they're silencing people major censorship on reddit don't spend too much time on platforms that censor right if you spend a lot of time on platforms that censor you're going to be a dingling okay <coughs> you got to <you're> grind <laughs> now, uh, go donate to bill gates foundation oh my god uh, we have the clip. <laughs> I trust our commander in chief. Gold is silver. People are hilarious. Is it worth investing in tinfoil? As it seems a large amount of the population is buying it in bulk to turn. <laughs> <at the> <laughs> have you heard about 
uh, the alien interaction with the with Donald Trump and that it uh, is why he's turned or no 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 I've known orange people like people who get the they put the sun tanning creams on them it was a thing that people did I don't know why but they did it <laughs> Reddit has definitely been compromised compromised big time right big time don't think she goes to Paul no Wall Street bets is hilarious because you can follow on people doing the worst mistakes <laughs> and the biggest wins. <laughs> and then they come out and say, I did it. And then the next bet they make, they lose everything, right? Reddit censors and is all also partly owned by China. Yeah. Drink your silver now. I believe, I believe. What do you think of the coronavirus? Here in uh, Toronto, all schools, including universities, are closed. Yeah. Um, Mac macro pan pancia 31 uh turning the frog <laughs> well <laughs> crack me up still uh macro pancia uh we have a uh covid19 playlist we started covering it about late january mid january late i was looking at the numbers mid january and we did our first thing i mentioned it during a mass stream so late january and we have a playlist where we've crunched the numbers, right? Done, done a little bit of mathematics and talked about it. If you go to our YouTube channel, um, you'll see the playlist there. Here. Doop. If you go to the YouTube channel, there's a COVID-19 playlist. And we've covered the stuff there. It's a legitimate concern. Uh, schools, universities should be closed. Theaters, concerts. Uh, large gathering special events should be canceled you you want to reduce you you want to do this you want to right now we want to flatten the curve right this is exactly what you want to do because we don't want our medical system to be overwhelmed you're in toronto you're in canada i've lived in toronto by the way i lived in on ontario for five years okay our medical system in canada is already maxed out we can't have thousands of people going to the hospitals and there's enough beds right there's enough supplies to take care of everyone so what you want to do is reduce social activity social interaction to reduce the rate of infection so the medical system can deal with these critical cases right that's what we need to do it, that's the end of story that's what the mathematics says right you want to reduce the exponential growth to have a lower growth rate right I don't use Reddit, just Fortran. I'm a good boy. Make America straight again. <laughs> I find it annoying. Our president keeps trying to explain to everyone not worse than the flu, and yet people keep making an anthill into a mountain. Yeah. Gays have more IQ. Da -da. Conspiracy people are going crazy on Twitter, especially QAnon followers. Yeah, the QAnon man. I can't believe people are still following that. Like, seriously, what? The broken clock is, what is it, correct twice a day or something? Uh, with lockdowns and curfews, can you still go to the supermarket? Yeah, we can, yeah. Yeah. Chicho, but the flu hurts more people. Um, yeah, so does cutting your finger, right? So can you compare cutting your finger to... I know I'm making a bad analogy because the flu is a virus and COVID-19 is a virus, but the flu, if you get the flu, you're contagious for like three days, four days. Your symptoms show right away or within a day or two, right? So you know you're sick and you're contagious, so you take care. COVID-19, asymptomatic for 27, up to a month, right? 27 days, up to a month. No sign of symptoms and still contagious the r naught value for COVID 19 is a lot higher it is a more devastating virus it's causing the long-term damage right it's taking people anywhere between two to six weeks to recoup from it if they recoup from it some are showing long-term effects right the flu you're sick you're done within a week thank you very much off you go to your own business right this is different. This is different. Anybody here? Oh, do I have the other graph? <coughs> here, let me bring this up too. We still have this from yesterday. 
is this going to show that's not going to show here i'm going to i'm just going to bring up a little graph i'm going to go over my own face a little bit here oops sorry about this gang but okay hold on let me reduce this oh cool i can do this nice here we'll put this guy here too take a look at this this is a comparison here i'll step over this way this is a comparison of the okay the fatality rate this is the numbers we got out of south korea the fatality rate for COVID 19 compared to the flu are dramatically different okay 80 plus year olds and this is korea here let me bring up the other one here's the fatality rate let me resize this one too. bring it up here here's the fatality rate for straight up COVID 19 right oops where'd it go here's the fatality rate for COVID 19 80 plus 15 percent 70 to 79 8 percent 60 to 69 three and a half percent 50 to 59 one percent right the flu 65 point eight three percent right point eight three percent that's what we found out in south korea in south korea that was from 65 plus right compare that to covid 19 like you can't compare it right i'm sorry those people who are making a comparison between covid 19 and the flu are clueless right they have no idea what exponential growth is they have no idea what the fatality rate is they're quoting mortality rate but mortality rate is I believe I looked this up. It's one out of a thousand, not one out of a hundred. So they're saying the mortality rate is only three percent. That's one out of a thousand. It's not three percent, it's three, right? <coughs> Big difference. I'm at home now, self quarantine, eating tuna and rice. Need beer. Please send more. <laughs> As a bio biochemical engineer student, we have been studying a sci scientist called he is currently working in a v mvc vaccine which in fact injects antibody antibodies into the human bloodstream cool the only thing left open is a, in a lockdown are the businesses that provide food yeah sorry just getting some mod uh, commands down okay awesome martin I need to learn some of those mod commands as well. I wish the US would actually close more things, restaurants, theaters, and many other businesses are still open. The one thing, Spider Man, is the financial thing has to be in there, but it doesn't look like they're going to do it. They gave 1.5 trillion to Wall Street, not to the people, not to the front line, right? They gave it to the financial sector, they didn't give it to the front line people. What a horrendous thing to do. What are you saying now about COVID-19 is interesting. Uh, want to share that source? Uh, go to our, if you look at uh, Vadaban, Va Van Dogen, if you look at our YouTube channel, there's a COVID-19 playlist. These two graphs that I showed you, we did on a live stream last night. So you can watch that video on Twitch. It's the video that's available on Twitch for two weeks. You can watch that and you can go to my patreon page and the last post i made is a table and 13 graphs that we made from the table that i've been tabulating collecting all the data and doing some number crunching to look at what's going on with COVID 19. um we've been doing COVID 19 stuff for for a while now i guess so there's a lot of info there to be had if you like if you're interested who did you pardon the wall of text expert panel in california last night predicted 40 to 70 percent of the population will be infected before herd immunity kicks in there's some question about where the mortality rate is but there's consensus that 20 percent of cases will require hospital hospitalization u.s has 2.7 hospital beds per thousand people 300 million people 40 percent infection in 120 is 120 million cases 24 million hospitalization 810,000 hospital beds nationally yeah and the 20 to 70 percent is going to be over an extended period of time so hopefully people will be recouping and coming out and stuff like this right and the fatality rate i believe is higher than like we we graphed a fatality rate now it's kicking up to 3.7 percent and it's going to continue to go up i believe right so the fatality rate is on average is moving up the flu's fatality rate is like ridiculously low 
right? Not ridiculously, right? <laughs> low, but it's way lower. <coughs> Pertains to con uh, uh, conversation. Moss, can I post a Reddit link in chat? Uh, no, or is it uh, not allowed? Uh, no links other than mods and myself on chat. Do you have any thoughts on the British approach, which seems to be uh, hope for the best, but the vulnerable are going to suffer? Uh, yeah, I, I I read some of the blips about how the UK is handling this, and the three little blips that I read on how the UK is handling this is horrendous, just absolutely ridiculous, right? But that's what happens when you get a clown like Boris Johnson in power, right? Horrendous. Just imagine what the response would have been if Corbyn was in power. Oh, different game, different game, right? Corbyn, the mistake he made, he should have supported Brexit, right? If he had supported Brexit, people should have been intelligent enough to vote for him, right? Because the only reason the clown got in was because he said, we're going to do a Brexit, right? Corbyn should have done that, right? And if they had done that, if you had someone like Corbyn in power, you would have seen the response roll out way differently, way differently, right? Cheers. My pleasure, Vatagon. Thank you, Spider-Man. Yeah, take a look at those, uh, those uh, t that table and those graphs that we put out, okay? And those are updated graphs of the previous stream we did two weeks ago. Okay, and we're going to do one at the end of this month as well. Okay, beginning of next month. Links are not allowed. Ba, 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 Discord. That is why flatten the curve is absolutely essential. 100%. People claiming that the panic is unwarranted and not following social distancing are people, everyone, at putting everyone at risk. Yeah, and the kicker is, so it, we all know these people, right? I know these people. like if they continue to push their point i'm gonna go pretty hard on their stupidity right because they're not at risk right it means they're cho showing their true colors being two two shades one of them is that that they're extremely selfish right the other one is that they're ridiculously stupid right end of story and I'm going to go hard on their asses, personally. Uh, and I've already started started on that task. Okay. Mander9. Hi, Chicho. Good to see you online. Stay healthy, brother. You too. You too. And I did have the flu. And who knows? At the beginning of January, those of you who have been following the work, right? What we're doing. At the beginning of January, I got hit with the flu, right? And I kept on mentioning that I've never been hit this hard before. I've never been hit this hard before, really. Well, if I got the flu before, I'm back up and running within three days, right? I got hit January 1st with the flu, right? As far as I know. And I was taken out for six weeks, okay? And it was hardcore. I had serious temperature and coughing that lasted two months, right? And every now and then, I still have a little bit of cough. What did I have? Did I have a flu? I think so. I hope so, right? So, stay healthy, right? Stay healthy. I would say the opposite. Personally, he refused to give much of an opinion and seemed to suffer due to that. And the right-wing press, given that remain leaning parties got more votes, I feel he would have been in a better position if he pushed for at least a second referendum. I agree. I think he should have done a second referendum, personally. I think he should have come out and said, we're going to do a second referendum. This is what's going to be asked. Are we leaving? When do you guys want to leave? That's it, right? Or we stay, right? And the reason he should have done that is because there was so much misinformation, disinformation going around, right? And the UK media was absolutely horrendous, horrendous, right? They label him as anti-Semitic, that he wasn't anti-Semitic. And then all those people that were labeling him anti-Semitic, they came on and said, hey, our plan worked, right? We labeled this guy as anti-Semitic to not get him elected because he didn't agree with what's going on in the Middle East, 
right, with the persecution of the Palestinians, right? A UK population was played by corporate propagandists and think tanks and special interest groups, right? Why are these institutions and organizations and outside parties, outside governments deciding who rules the UK? People should be pissed. But yes, Boris is doing an awful job and putting a lot of people at rest. 100%. Very true. A country we were fooled by the side of uh, fooled by the side of a bus, which say a whole lot. Yeah. says a whole lot really it's incredible what was taking place right we would I, I, this is an investment stream but we're talking a lot about politics as well but that is that is a part of the game right and COVID-19 for sure and that's gonna have a serious effect in our current economic system and it's already having a serious effect through our current economic system what should governments do they definitely should not be giving Wall Street more money that's 100% right they should be making sure that people are taken care of right uh, they should be using people's money right to take care of the people right setting up mobile uh, testing labs right they should be hiring a whole bunch of health practitioners for people who are really scared and aren't leaving their homes so they can make appointments and go see them and set their minds at ease and give them a checkup, right? What's wrong with hiring an army, right, of nurses and people in the healthcare industry to visit individual houses, right? So you don't have mobs of people going into one location to test people, right? That's doable right why aren't central institutions doing this initially you're going to get a wave of people coming you know requiring this right so you hire thousands of people right how is it possible that they're able to hire recruit tens of thousands of people to go to other nations and bomb the crap out of them but they're not able to hire mobilize thousands of people to take care of their own citizens right this is our centralized governments at work right what was the scandal with the messed up driving uh test lab that were fake i uh they were initially I, and even right now there could be test kits out there that aren't really 100 percent accurate right and most test kits aren't the question is what's the failure rate on those test kits i believe some of the initial test kits that the in the united states that the cdc sent out millions of them not, not i don't think it was millions probably hundreds of thousands they recalled them because they were flawed oh man it's like a noam chomsky lecture <laughs> live need <laughs> <laughs> is it like Noam Chomsky lecture? I do have. I've read Noam Chomsky. I've watched one of his lectures. I went live to one of his lectures, and I've watched a lot of his lectures. But logic is logic, right? In my opinion, the UK had two very poor options in the last election, and the way I saw it at the time, a lot of people voted for uh, what they thought was a lesser evil boris has handled the whole COVID 19 situation incredibly poorly but i don't think jeremy would have uh, made much of a difference but we will never know we will never know but i think jeremy coburn would have handled it better way better the joe schmuck uh, boris man this that that guy was born with a a golden spoon in his mouth right he's a i wouldn't even let him walk into my house right what a really i don't even know if i'm allowed to say some of the things i think about that guy right not a math guy here how much could each u.s citizen have received if they split the one uh, 1.5 trillion instead of giving giving it to the wall street uh magic magic magicum uh we talked about this yesterday basically we did the we did a little bit of math and assume there is 
330 well we found out 330 million people in the united states in the united states right let's assume 150 million of them are working and paying taxes right so the united states could have automatically deposited one thousand dollars okay into 150 million bank accounts okay uh, and they could have done this for 10 months on a monthly basis so they could have given uh, 150 million people okay I believe 150 million a thousand dollars we're doing that right oh man I lost up numbers again we did it last night we talked about it last night right but basically a thousand dollars a month for uh, 10 months I believe okay 1.5 trillion right not bad that would have calmed the situation a lot more but they gave 1.5 trillion to wall street to pop up the stock market and the stock market is centralized right about 80 percent of all stocks 80 to 85 percent of all stocks are owned by institutions and extremely wealthy people right so joe blow on the front front lines gets nothing zero zilch the only thing they get is inflation right meanwhile they could have taken 1.5 trillion and given a tax break right tax return of a thousand dollars a month for 10 months right to the population the difference the difference right huge 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 since this is an investing live stream what general investing advice observation are we looking at uh sleepy boys depends uh what reduce your expenses increase your health uh decentralize your income right if you only have one major source of income look for a secondary one look for a third one look for a fourth one name of the game right now is decentralize yourself make yourself anti-fragile anti-fragile divided by 300 million but it was also a loan so it would only have dealt with that uh, i i don't believe that the 1.5 trillion was a loan is a giveaway okay the bailouts were not loans they're giveaways man it's a loan they didn't give it to them it it's not a loan they say it's a loan loan at zero interest can i have some of that can i have some of that loan right would you like some loan at zero interest would you like a 1.5 trillion dollars at zero interest can i where can i sign up where can i line up all all I don't care. I'll fight COVID-19 and go line up in a line of 1.5 million people or not 1.5 million, 150 million people in a big lineup to sign up to get 1.5 trillion, right? Of interest-free loan. I wouldn't trust Boris to sit the right way on a toilet set <laughs> alone a deal with an international crisis like COVID-19. Yeah, money isn't real. They could have done whatever they wanted yeah i think the main difference is corbin would care more about the people who are in the situation than that they can't afford to be ill and the more vulnerable in society but we will never know for sure yeah and he would have right hey no white beard no math no whiteboard no math no whiteboard no math gotta do all mental oh my god trillion for dead cat bounce yeah and that's the key dead cat dead cat bounce sounds like a good investment man first of all it's the fed not the u.s government uh so they can't just uh budget it to the citizens second of all they could have mandated it second of all it's a loan so they will be paid back you are misinformed in this future uh why man on paper alone okay fannie mae freddie mac when they got bailed out for four trillion dollars okay basically what happened was complete garbage investments were given a value of 4.5 tri of four trillion dollars right that means all the other investments were propped up because they bailed out the garbage loans right so all of a sudden that created inflation in the society as everyone's seen through the housing market right what that did was basically normalized theft right and 
how much of that bailout money from 2008 and the monthly money that has been going into the market really trickled trickled down to the population the stock market was pushing thirty thousand dollars companies were doing major buybacks right and then selling their stock liquidating giving themselves dividends to pay back interest-free loans you can't just say it's a loan you don't get that type of loan from the government for from the banks it's impossible for you to get a loan like that all of a sudden when you incorporate that into differential accumulation when these entities here get interest-free loans in the tombs of billions upon hundreds of billions upon trillions of dollars and you Joe Blow are sitting there paying interest if you're lucky at 5% and if you're unlucky on your credit cards 30% in a short limit you are bankrupt right you can't just say it's a loan it's a loan on paper in reality it's a giveaway right what happens when the companies take that loan which is going to happen by the way and it did happen in 2008 crisis they take that loan they buy back their shares they give out the dividends they liquidate the company within two years some of these companies go bankrupt do they have to pay back the loan hell no of course they don't have to pay back the loan what about you as a student do you have to pay back the loan to get a good education of course you have to pay back your loan for the rest of your life to go get an education this is a giveaway don't be fooled by the rhetoric by the garbage coming out of the mainstream propagandas this is a straight out giveaway okay 1.5 trillion you can name it whatever you want uh no it, loan you you can call the loan i want one of those loans why man i want i want a loan like that can i get a loan like that three stooges how are you doing how's life i want a loan like that now nah, i need a cider so martin <laughs> did i go too hard <laughs> sorry brother <laughs> what do you think of the people who are arguing there are lots of opportunities to jump in on a wall street market there are some sure if you want to play that game there are some companies that are worth buying yeah right uh not all of them not by a long shot most of them are bubbles most of them are like take a look at boeing stock right went up to 350 dollars right their algorithm doesn't work two planes crashes they still prop it up still sitting above 300 right in two weeks it goes from 350 dollars down to 160 dollars right now take a look at the chart for it over a lifetime over a 10 year period right do you think 160 dollars is a good buy from 350 came down to 160 it'll do a bounce it'll do a bounce most likely most likely who knows right it might stay up there for a while but do a look on the chart for 10 year period what was Boeing trading a few years ago thirty dollars fifty dollars so is it a good buy 160 hell no I won't touch it some people will and I got depressed again sorry I heard Boris on <laughs> that's why I had almost forgotten yeah the fundamental per uh per per, supp per supposition that standard modes of doing business will apply to a crisis to government or government like entities is dumb courts won't enforce or prosecute the interest on the market safety is more important than paying by the same rules and regulations you invest in in you invest by i'm going to read that again okay the fundamental proposition that standard modes of doing business will apply to a crisis to government or government-like entities is dumb courts won't enforce or prosecute the interest of the market safety is more important than playing by the same rules and regulations you invest by uh, make crows not war I actually after reading that I'm actually not sure if you're pro giving 1.5 trillion to Wall Street or anti <laughs> just like German and French banks and in the Greek bailout yeah and it wasn't Greek bailout it was a bailout I, I'm pretty sure that's what you mean it was a bailout of the German and French banks and then the population blamed it on the Greeks 
I actually have relatives that live in Germany, and they were visiting at the time, and they said, oh, those Greeks, they're all, they're all, they, they, they don't work, they don't pay taxes, it's all their fault. I turned to them, I go, what are you, crazy? It's your banks that gave bad loans to people they shouldn't have given bad loans to, right? And then when the loans go belly up, they take your tax dollars and they, <laughs> they give it to the banks for giving these bad loans. Meanwhile, the, the people in the banks that were giving these bad loans to these dead beasts that were just, they knew they were going to rob Greece, right? They were just going to take the money. They were taking their bonuses for giving these loans. You want to know how bad the European and all centralized banking systems are? Look at Lagarde. Lagarde was head of is she's head of the EU banking so central um, the European Central Bank right now I believe right she was ahead of the IMF at the time before she got in there the IMF gave Argentina a 50 billion dollar loan right that everybody knew was just garbage like there's no way it was the highest loan that IMF has ever given and he gave it to Argentina and everybody knew that Argentina is not going to pay this back it's not going to happen. Why did they give it? Because the IMF, the banking people cutting this deal, were taking their bonuses. The Argentinian people that were signing away Argentinian, Argentine's future, right? They were taking the money. The Argentinian people got screwed over, right? And guess what happened? Argentina defaults on that $50 billion loan. Who gave this? Who approved this? Lagarde approved this anybody do this they'd have their ass fired what happens to her she gets promoted to the head of the european central bank what a scam right why because she was able to scam millions of people out of billions of dollars without anybody raising eyebrows right so she's going to do the same thing in a european central bank it's all a scam teacher i'm just fine ah three stooges you're doing good uh, I went to the stores. Oh boy, it's chaos out there. I stocked up on booze and beef jerky. Nice. You're going to have a good time. <laughs> Chisho, what do you think about Brexit and how Boris and Cons are dealing with it? You know what? It's, it, it, we've talked about Brexit a fair bit in the past. It, it, it's Brexit. It needs to play out, right? Uh, it, for UK citizens, I think it's a good thing they're not part of the EU considering what's going on in the EU, right? But Boris is, and those people are not going to roll it up properly to the benefit of UK citizens, right? They're screwing over the UK. I don't have zero faith in Boris and the clan, right? I wasn't given an out argument, just a, an in argument, okay? Yes. What do you think of the Indian economy at present? It's going to tank hard. Uh, two major banks are in crisis and they have to shut down the stock exchange for a few hours and restart to artificially escalate it. Also, the government took $1 billion from the largest insurance company within five days to save this institution. Yeah, uh, we've talked about this before. India is not a is going to go through, through some serious major turmoil, major turmoil. And that's not including COVID-19 we talked about, right? We'll see what the effects of COVID-19 are, but it's going to go through some mere, major turmoil. What's going to happen with Bitcoin? Anybody's guess. I think it's going to go down. Greece had a bail-in also where a percentage of savings accounts was docked from the balance. Yeah. Stealing people's money from their bank accounts. Crazy. Yes, bank is in crisis. I think State Banks of India is planning on buying it. Cool. IMF, impossible money funding, impossible money funding. I want someone out impossible money funding. I try to explain this over and over to people, especially liberals, and they just don't want to hear it. What is that one? Uh, Iglonorius. Hmm. But many banks are in crisis. In the Netherlands, in my supermarket, everything was empty. Yeah. People no longer trust the FM and the stupid logics and data fudging. Yeah, like 10% of the products was still in store and nothing in the in the back. Wow, wow, that's crazy, Luca. Wow, wow, wow. 
right now it's yes bank right now it's yes bank and i think bank of maharashtra i think plus air india is in crisis yeah it's it's india is going to go through, through some serious hard times i think that's why they're starting the religious wars and the and the chaos there to to distract people from the economic situation in india i would not invest in india i would not live in india right now uh and i would not be visiting india right now okay yes they are selling all psus and the loss uh, making ones are sold uh, at low rates as no one buys them while the profit making ones should not be privatized i had terrible leg pain i went to the doctor he told me he gave me he gave me walking in no time he kept me walking in no time he did he did he stole my car ah he stole your car three stooges how much do you think the current government is responsible for uh where in india huge huge in spain full lockdown everybody is clapping in the barcelona and windows and i feel like crying yeah i, I saw the videos a little bit of videos and uh, you know what good feelings are uh are important in communities it brings together people right so I'm okay with the good feelings and the music. Is there any word from Africa about COVID? Uh, it's there. And it's there. It's the odds are it's going to go for the Indian crisis. Yeah, the present government for sure. Morandi, Morandi. It's absolutely beautiful to see the collapse of supply chain based on modernity, uh, modernity's fears and interconnectedness. The lines at the uh, local grocery stores and the empty shelves reflecting what those who support capitalism see capitalism as the pure fragility of a dominant market economy is funny beyond comprehension. Accelerated. Make cows not war 100 percent agree right the the plus side of what's taking place hopefully this is going to wake people up into have local communities local infrastructure food security and a sense of community right very very important we'll see how it plays out i got my fingers crossed that people will wake up after this one what is your chicho uh so spider-man says what is your thoughts on the only three percent will die and it's mostly old people or people with bad immune system crowd they're idiots spider-man they are complete idiots okay i can honestly tell you the people who think that they're lucky they haven't said it in my face okay and they're lucky i don't live in a high story building because my balcony door would be open okay i'm just kidding by the way violence is not a good thing but they're idiots how was the coverage of the indian uh pogrom in the media in your country is was that the one where they call the currency they tried to scam people into bringing it crazy is that the one i don't know what the pogrom refers to hello hello halim how are you doing steadfast can't believe people don't even care even a three percent uh we should be more uh caring to people who are more prone 100 percent spider-man well people realize federal reserve is doing horrible stuff since even memes are being made about it now at least people uh know what it is uh blackout to alan there's been cartoons memes about the federal reserve from 1913 right people have known about what the fed is for decades right it's just not on the mainstream propagandas so what people need to do is start watching the mainstream propaganda okay and then people will start getting it do you feel biased media is responsible for cheating people or it, uh or if the people who are dumb enough to solely trust such journalists they're not journalists they're propagandists for instance a popular pro-government journalist 
uh, propagandist in India is an ex inmate for the fraud and fake sting operations. And he's one of the only guys who the e PM gives interviews to. Yeah, I think people are. We have to take responsibility for our own actions. If it, as the saying goes, buyer beware. If we're dumb enough to be duped by these institutions and governments, okay, and propagandists, then we deserve to be duped. Now, the question is, how often are we planning on being duped into this, right? If we don't speak out, who's going to speak out, right? We need to call BS as what it is, BS. My fingers are crossed too. I hope this ends up uh, changing minds abroad. I hope so too. Thank you for that saying. Oh, for sure, Spider-Man. And as Martin said, 3% is not a low number. Not a low number. 1% is not a low number. No program means the riots, which were uh, uh, one-sided pogrom. Was that the, I don't know. I'm not familiar with it. I'm sorry. How do we introduce resilience from the ground up in close by communities is the key question of the future. Yeah. People care in as much as it impacts their lives. Once it is doorsteps, doorsteps uh, reality will set in. Yeah. Hey, I bought a book about the Fed at a secondhand store called Secrets of the Temple. It looks super 70s. Is it? I don't know. I don't know. Miriam beautifully said. Uh, my wife is immune compromised and some of our family members just aren't caring and believing that it will not affect us yeah i've had people like that too right spider-man you, you talk to them and go oh you're over playing a chicho i'm like dude okay you're a healthy young person or middle-aged person or whatever what about you get hit you go visit your family you pass it on to your grandmother or mother father what are you Halim, I wonder what will happen economically now. The French president has already said that all those uh, procedures would cost dozens of billion, billion euros. And the only way to do this is to print a lot of money. But printing a lot of implies devaluation of currencies and therefore massive inflation. Or I'm wrong. No, you're not wrong. And here's the kicker. F Macron, right? Hey, what happened to all those rich people that were giving money when uh, Notre Dame or whatever was burning? Oh, bring in billions of dollars to build that. But a pandemic hits and they're worried about uh, spending billions? What? On the plus side, society uh, might learn by this current issue that is in the world. A little lesson learned to be somewhat prepared for the future. 100% dapper. And by the way, don't get me wrong. The 2008 financial collapse created a lot of warriors that understand how the system works, that are building infrastructures and decentralizing their lives, right? This is going to do more. So slowly what we're seeing is the collapse of our current economic system, which is a beautiful thing, right? What we have to do, what we have to make sure is to build alternative systems, right? A program of pogrom is a violent riot aimed at the massacre uh, aimed at the massacre or persecution of ethnic or religious group i i think that's horrendous is that the one you're talking about against the muslims ridiculous disgusting right and that was pushed from the centralized state right post-apocalypse how are you doing some countries are starting to add an air pollution tax to commercial airline tickets based on estimated estimated amount the problem is you're giving it to the centralized state that is already controlled by corporations so you're centralizing more power yeah exactly i thought that too recently there was very high communal tension in delhi the capital of india literally a few miles away from where trump was visiting there are clear videos of the police torturing people with the help of pro-government mobs while the media which is bought, bought by the government reports a selective incidents and fallacies yeah i know that stuff is going on so you're called they're calling that pogrom right really india is in trouble India is going to go through some serious turmoils and it might face some 
decentralization breaking up where there's going to be serious toll on the economy and the people okay be careful if you live in india that number is accurate and it is approximately two-third the wall uh, two-third the population of the u.s although it would be spread out worldwide it gives a vivid image of the cost vivid image of the cost merely human local farmer markets local farmer markets csa's right build dual power thanks for defining that why are why you are talking about investment economy is dead boomer no it's not and i'm not a boomer i am on the cuspish i'm i don't know what i'm called <laughs> boomer <laughs> hilarious <laughs> even if i was a boomer right on i live longer than you brother <laughs> or sister let's see you make it to this age and grow some nice white goatee right funny funny i have some hope that measures that add pollution fees to logistics can rebalance global systems to focus more on local and less on long-range travel that part i agree with you post-apocalypse sourcing out food from thousands of miles away is ridiculous we have to source out food from local communities once you do that the transportation cost comes down the pollution comes down right huge huge benefits to society one argument i keep hearing from uh, waiters bartenders is that if people stop going out they are just hurting them too please go out to bars and support people who still have to work regardless of the pandemic or not we will need money too and just because you get laid off doesn't mean we deserve a hit in the pocket too i hear sleepy ways i really don't know too many people that are saying that personally okay humans are degenerate humans uh, da, 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 da. not the number the prediction oh wow i've missed a lot of chat again da, 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 da. Oh wow, we're like two hours plus gang. Should be I have my goatee back. Nice. But it's just yours standard style. That's okay. I've had the short goatee too a lot, but I just like this right now. Should we call the stream gang? The Indo-Pakistani war started with Pakistan. Pakistani army was committing acts of genocide in Bangladesh and India intervened. Both sides were affected but clearly one side was targeted da, 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 da. chicho anyway you could stream more the next few weeks during this coronavirus for sure hannah i will be and I'm, I'm in spring break so we're going to do more streaming so do i and also those making decisions nobody at the helm based old man oh man thanks for the stream my pleasure <laughs> and you you're welcome to call me an old man I take that with honor, by the way. Uh, cider is going to win tonight. Is it, Martin? I think maybe sometimes cider is is required. I might have uh, some liqueur too. So I'll join you. I'll have some liqueur tonight as well. Okay. I don't know if my... And it was because of drinking coffee or Corona. Haha. <laughs> okay, gang. Let's call the stream. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs for those that followed and subbed. Thank you for the raid, um, David. That if you're still here, uh, thank you for participating. Thank you for the conversations, gang. Okay, take care, be well. Okay, uh, be considerate, think about everybody uh, around you. Okay, and uh, if you can make it, we're gonna do a live stream math puzzle game on wednesday okay from 2 30 until 4 30 p.m and we're just going to play some math games and uh have a little downtime and enjoy the game and later on we're going to start doing pandemic cooking stream and comic books okay kick it down a bit and we'll do politics economics and covid 19 as well okay aside from that hope you guys have a fantastic sunday and next few days and i'll see you guys on wednesday the mods spider-man the rest of the mods thank you for taking care of business martin thank you for taking care of business bye everyone